Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Strat. We are playing against uh, Arnok, uh, our buddy. And if you want to be a sparing partner, please let me know. Uh, there's also Tau here. And they are both uh, brewing um, Freed from the real decks. <laughs> And I am playing um, Green White Auras. And I think this is a keep, right? I have creature, land, uh, Auras. It's just perfect. And Tau is here to watch us. So, guys, uh, Ornok, please post. Uh, your deck list in the show notes. I am casting Abundant Growth, looking for more sweet auras. Uh, thank you guys for brewing on this deck and uh, being in the videos. It's fascinating. I will play it myself, I promise. Uh, sometimes uh, before next weekend. And I still call the deck Freed from the Real uh, in lacking a better name. Defenders could be another deck. Uh, so that's why I'm not choosing to call it that. Uh, I can't get the three mana this turn anyway, can I? So I'm playing the Guildgate and the Utopia Sprawl. That can only enchant Forest, so it doesn't work very well with Guildgates. I'm choosing white for my Utopia Sprawl. And I really want to fail now so we can see the free from the real combo work. But if a combo is supposed to work, the deck must be able to defend itself. And here is some defense. The Wall of Tangle Cord. Well, Oragnarlid needs to grow if he's supposed to deal with that. Because he's just... Uh, okay, oh well, he will be big enough anyway. But the cord, uh, the wall of tanger cord will uh, prevent some damage. So my question is the combo deck fast enough to set up the combo? Or will it just crumble under the pressure of the hexproof deck? I don't have a, a super good opening here. Although it's quite good, it's not the best. I did find my creature, my land, but it's a creature that can be targeted, so you can just die. And then I only have a ledge walker to Rancor. So I'm sure you have some defense against creatures. So what is in the sideboard of the Hexproof deck for this kind of situation? Uh, 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 that's a very good question. Freed from the Real finishes the game with Soul Burn or lots and lots of damage. And I don't really have any sideboard for that. I'm gonna kill you next turn if you don't defend yourself. Well, there's not much of a sideboard list for this deck. I haven't really thought it through much. <laughs> this is the sideboard list. Everything is just empty. Uh, so it's time to crack that Terramorphic Expanse. Uh, do I play Gladiator Scout? Yeah, why would it sit in my hand? That seems pointless. And the same probably goes for the land. Well, he does have people to block with, so I don't expect him to go down this turn. Will something broken happen? Uh, like with old storm decks, playing against the combo deck is like sitting on a, a keg of powder. You never know when it's gonna explode. 
But one of the reasons I like the uh, the hexproof deck is that it uh, it just does its things. It's like playing solitaire. You either you win, or you don't win. There's not a lot of interaction. And here's capsize, which is gonna hurt the Gnarlid pretty bad. Except that you don't have the mana to cast it, do you? Next turn. Yeah. Hexproof has crushed the Freed from the real deck. So then we have this question about sideboarding. Yes, I'm brewing a Midnight Guard deck. That was the list you saw there. Okay, uh, I don't need Moon Spaces, I don't need Frogs, Spore Frogs, I don't need Standard Bear. Do I need Thermocast? He really needs his life, but he isn't committing a lot on. Nah, I'll just stay. Stay the way I am. Often people sideboard too much, and now. I cannot be guilty of that. Maybe I just cybered it too little. Oh, he... Uh, Thou went away. Um, okay, I need to take a mulligan. I was thinking about playing another game against him after this. Oh, now I get nothing. I have the Glade Cover Scout. I have the Rancor. I think this is a must keep actually, because it has everything I need. Uh, and I need to draw more lands, but I am on the draw. Hmm. And I draw like a god, but there's still uh, not very much going on here. I think I need to save the Rancor now for the Ledge Walker, because the Glade Cavern Scout will just be blocked by walls. But I don't have the best opening here, so he might have a chance to deploy his broken combo. We shall see. I desperately need white mana. Let's walk a go. Hmm. Okay, let's walk can start beating down now at least. Um. <laughs> There's a new thing. Deluxe Coif went 4 0 with this deck. Deluxe Coif often goes 4 0. But he had 4 forced adaptation in the deck. So I'm trying that out, but I only own one so far. So this is the one I'm trying out. And uh, let's see what how how well that works. I'm pretty immune to any non electricery effects. So I will beat for 3, 4, 5, 6, and then it's over. It's a 5 turn clock unless I cast anything else. 3, 4, 5, yep. Maybe the Hexproof deck is a problem matchup for, for the Freed from Real deck because of the unblockable things. But it's not the fastest aggro deck, or maybe it is. Actually, it might very well be, except for Delver Fiend, but that is maybe not even an aggro deck. Uh, it is tricky that Ledge Walker avoids uh, the, the reach ability here. And we are about to play Ledge Walker number two. A forced adaptation has scored us one point of damage. Something is going on. There's a transmutation going on. Axpain Guardian is on the horizon and he's going to be cast here. 
so next turn is the critical turn and I don't have white mana to stop him so I can just keep hitting and hope it's enough but now I have white mana so now I'm going bonkers and I think it's uh, ethereal armor But he's not dead yet. So he has this one turn to go. Oh, fog, of course. I should have remembered that the deck is full of fog effects. That's the way it survives. Good. <laughs> I was a bit worried there. <laughs> that I was going to crush him in the second duel as well, because we need to see some combo here. But I'm not going to soft play him. I like to free it from the real deck here and I like to see uh, people experiment with it so I'm happy to play more games against it. And there we go! Is he going off? It's awesome! I think we are F6ing this. And he has the pieces of the combo! I hope. just made for video <laughs> uh, I mean, we are not setting this up it's happening for real freed from the real and maybe it's happening in another game in the second game as well and uh, actually my hexproof deck will be crushed by the freed from the real combo but the combo is now going off and I am f6ing enjoying a drink non-alcoholic of course do not play magic when drunk. It's not a good idea. It is slightly better than playing internet poker while drunk. Because the, the stakes are often higher on internet poker. He now has 50 mana. So the way the combo works, freed from drill, untap target creature, untap enchanted creature for one blue mana. And that means that uh, Axe Bane Guardian, who gives four mana now, will untap for one mana. And as Axe Bane Guardian can give blue mana, it's an infinite combo. He just capsized my stuff. And eternal capsize is pretty nasty, because He's gonna get, even if my guys are hexproof, he's gonna get all the enchantments and my uh, lands. So it's a bit like being temporal fissured. And this is Arnok going off with Freed from the Reel. Oh, I misspelled Reel on the last video, I'm sorry. Freed from the real. Of course, he's freed from what is real. I thought R, -R E E L was some English word. Sorry for my English once again. I am trying to improve. So, what do we talk about while the deck goes off? Um, he is generating a lot of mana. He now has 15 mana and he's uh, capsizing. I might be uh, a nasty person for forcing him to go through with this, but he hasn't won by just capsizing. My Hexproof guys are there still. Uh, there are two counters on uh, the Ledge Walker, so I'm hitting him for four a turn that he can't block. So he needs to find his kill spell within four turns. And I can actually... No, I can't. Oh, I can cast Rancor. So I'm far from dead. He needs to find the kill spell. And he did not. So this is me attacking again. He managed to get rid of my white mana, so that's not happening. And I have a three turn kill now. Of course he can bounce the Rancor, right? So Rancor doesn't work. Okay, it's still a five turn kill. And I'm F6ing. Hexproof. 
pretty good ability. Silhana Ledgewalker. So good. Uh, I can see uh, if you played free from the reel in a tournament, I can see where you would lose on time, which could be a, a real danger. But I'm still scoring four points of damage here, uh, and uh, I'm forced to discard something. Uh, there are many forests in my hand, so one of the forests will go. But I am still winning this, if he can't find the kill. A Glade Cover Scout looks really stupid in this matchup. Is there anything to replace him with in the sideboard? Um, Thermocasts. The land destruction just looks so wrong. Okay, I won't try the uh, Rancor thing again. Because that just be a waste of time, I'll just attack. And be done with it. Is there a way for me to kill... The no, I can't kill stuff in this deck. In blue black trinket control you can often make capsize fizzle by killing the thing that is being capsized. But I don't have the option of that in the in this deck. So I'm just not playing stuff uh, to make this go a little bit faster. We shall see if he finds his kill spell. Will you find the kill spell or not? <laughs> Fan is a Swedish swear word. And he, he's living in Sweden right now, so that's why he's speaking some Swedish. I think his wife slash girlfriend uh, or significant other is a uh, Swede. And so am I. One more chance to draw it. Or will Silhana Ledgewalker take everything and run away with it? Okay, I'm gonna play Tau's deck right after this and see, uh, they're both brewing the same deck. As I said, so that will be interesting. Is this the win? It is the win! Yep. Thanks Arnork and what... So uh, I've, I'm a stupid person and Tau is not in my buddy list, which he of course should be. So there he is, I'm gonna challenge him with uh, the Ancestral Masters. We're playing the same deck against another. In the show notes, in the comments. Okay, we are up against Tau now. We are playing a second match here um, in the same video. It's still the same matchup. It's Hexproof Ancestral Mask against Freed from the Real. Okay, here we don't have the creature. Okay, so we have to mulligan. And here we have everything except the mana, but I think we need to keep this. And we know that Bogle is uh, really bad against him. Oh, here's another card. Uh, so we need to set up uh, Utopia Sprawl here to have some mana. Ah, so, all right. 
Is there a way to shut off uh, chat windows when you're playing? Uh, when you're doing videos? If so, I'd like to know. Uh, okay. We really need another mana, but then we can start building up a slipper bogle. So I'm not without hope here. A leaf caller is another way to get the combo right. Um, Okay. We are actually getting attacked on turn two by the Freed from the Real Deck this time. I'm not really that scared. And now Ledge Walker seems like the play of choice. Naturally. But we really need that land. Uh, once we get Cloak and Mask going, which. Uh, uh, I'm not really. Sorry about that. I must stop talking. Sorry, Anok. I need to be short to you now because I need to focus on the video. People don't want to see us talking. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Need to draw land. He is. Huh. He's here. Drift of Phantoms is being transmuted to Axe Guardian. I don't like my chances here. I'm not getting my engine going, but here we go. And we're gonna start by casting the mask, right? No, it does the same. So we cast the cloak attack. And then we we'll cast Mask next turn and it will be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Is there a curfew effect or something like that in the real deck? I doubt it. Definitely not main deck. Quicksand did a good This is a deck I played against with my uh, Messel Delver deck when I played against Freed from the Real. And misspelled the name of Freed from the Real in the actual YouTube title that I can't change. If somebody knows how to change YouTube titles, let me know, because I can change that one. And that's not the only spelling mistake I've done in the titles, so shame on me. Anyway, focus. So we now will play Axeman Guardian. Uh, yeah, there we go. And he's pretty well set up now. So we need to take him out. And it's a three turn clock. And our life total just doesn't matter at all. Really. And the sideboard cards are just worthless. Is there an opening for Thermocast here? Ooh, it's on! It's freed from the reel! But he has three cards in hand, we know that he has to go off. Uh, he has to find one of his kill spells. Will he do what Anork couldn't do and actually find the kill spell? Because I now have lethal damage next turn. Except for the fact that he has a thousand fogs. But there is the kill spell! I'm telling him to go off for the viewers, but he has now uh, killed me. Uh, he will now produce enough mana to do 29 points of damage see Axe Guardian does uh, gets 2 points of mana every turn 
uh, every time it every time it taps and free from the reel untaps for one so uh, every time he taps x bengoni he, he wins one mana and he will do that enough times to make a pyromatics for 30 yeah he put out another wall to make it go faster i'm sorry for making you go here tau but uh, when the freeze from the real deck now finally wins, we want to see it. So I guess you can check back in 29 minutes into the video to so see when it's done. No, it's much faster than that. He's already at 10 mana. He's getting only blue mana until he's ready to kill. Uh, why is that? Doesn't he need red mana already? Uh, there we go, red mana! Oh yes, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> we are playing Hexproof against Freed from Real, and Freed from Real is going off! It's a three card combo. And I know Midnight Guardian is only two card combo. But this combo has a lot of walls, and that is maybe a way for a combo deck to survive long enough to actually establish the combo. So I'm liking this. I think it's an interesting deck. Uh, please, uh, Tau, post your deck list in the show notes if you can. And maybe we'll do a feature article on MTGO Strat as well about this deck. If any of you want to write it. Uh, feel free to let me know as well. Uh, I can take this opportunity to advertise for the site. Okay. And we are now dying! Will we have the chance to show off the website? This is mtgostrat.com. I'm doing this website together with uh, uh, Willhouse and Dark. Uh, it's featuring videos from my YouTube channel and articles they write. Uh, yeah, the, the in the, when you play live uh, Magic, you can often say, "Oh, I'll do this combo a thousand times," and that's just work. But uh, yeah, it's very boring that the combos has to be this long. Why? Oh, he needs 60 mana to kill me. Uh. But now he has it, and here is the Pyromatics for the win. Uh, congratulations, Tau. Now I'm gonna concede, and we're off to the second game. I didn't want to force him to click through those 30. I don't think Thermocarst does anything here really, and it will only spoil the balance of the deck. I think I'm fast enough to crush him. I was in the two games against Arnok. And I did have a very lousy draw, so let's see if we can do it. I can't remember what was in his sideboard. mtgostrat.com These are the current feature articles. You will find uh, Popper Walkthroughs episodes here for my videos. Uh, articles about the Popper metagame. Some a little bit about modern. Uh, some standard Popper. Uh, yeah. Check it out! mtgostrat.com You can also find me on Twitter. 
at magicgastrat.com <laughs> så not.com magicgastrat uh, we are waiting for Tau to sideboard and he's done so we don't need to show you powerpoints but they are still coming we'd like to play first yes okay this is an Absolutely superb hand. Uh, a Glade Couch Cult will be large, large enough to punch through things. Uh, but I think we need to play the Guild Gate first. And then play Glade Clover Scout Rancor. Yes, that's what we are doing. Haha, <laughs> the contact info. Uh, so, Magic Astrat on Twitter. And this is site mtgostrat.com. Back to the game. Playing the guild gate done. And now. Wild growth to get more auras into play. And glade cover scout. Rancor. Next turn we can play both Abundant Growth and the TR Armor and that's a quite a decent start. And I think that is all we need. If he brought in Curfews we should now play Oragnarlid. And I think we actually should play Oragnarlid here. Uh, because uh, we are just investing too much in one card if we play if we put everything on the glade cover scout without curfew protection and it's another five power on the board and i think i could be lethal next turn but i want uh, to be able i want this glade cover scout to be sure that it doesn't die and that, that isn't bound to my hand with three enchantments on it. So this looks pretty good. Probably close to an optimal start. And here is Axbane Guardian, but it's way too late. Uh, this is my white mana. I am making him big. And you don't you don't hear me? I'm making it really really big. Is it game? No, he lives on one life. <laughs> but he loses the axe pain guardian and. Yeah, it was close to the nut draw. I mean, it doesn't block, which of course is a crucial mistake, but uh, I don't think he has any ways to recover next turn. So we are 1 1 against Taos. A freed from the real deck. And this is the final game of Hexproof versus Freed from the Real. Hmm, this hand has a significant flaw. And we are not gonna draw any white mana, and then we're gonna die so hard. If we draw white mana, mana we uh, um, are pretty, it's, we're in pretty good shape. And we have 12 sources of white mana in the deck. Do I keep this? It's very, please let me know what you think in the comments. This is a hard mulligan decision. But I think I have to throw it away. So now I don't get the creature. And this is good enough. I have the card where I really need to draw a creature. But I'm keeping this. And it's a way worse hand than the last one. But I don't dare take another mulligan. So Abundant Growth is definitely the play here. Trying to find the creature to put all this good stuff on. We 
are waiting for Tao, who suddenly disappeared. Here we go. I based this deck on Deluxe Accords deck, but it's not exactly the same list uh, right now. Uh, I hope to get an interview with, or at least talk to Deluxe Accords and actually make his deck. Okay, so there is the creature we needed. What do we do with him? We'll put him into play and we also play Wild Growth for some mana advancement. Our next turn we'll start suiting him up. And it's definitely the ancestral mask that goes on first. And now we are a sucker to to curfew. If that is even in his sideboard. I'm not sure. I've seen the list, but I can't remember if it was in the sideboard or not. Mr. Leafcaller. Uh, and we have four mana, so the choice is pretty easy. Next turn we'll have five. So one of the cloaks goes on. The Bogel. Slippery Bogel. He's just taking 7 points of damage because he needs his pieces of his combo. And next turn we're gonna get plus 2 plus 2 from the cloak, plus 2 plus 2 from Ancestral Mask, so we're gonna hit for 11. We're gonna have Trample! So it might be good enough. I think this might be a very hard matchup for the Freed from the Real deck, and I'm happy that Tau managed to grab one game. And he might very well grab this too. Oh, sweet Maria. This means that I can do everything. So I can go cloak. Rancor. <laughs> oh, that makes him very big. But it's not enough. He's still alive. If he blocks with the overgrown battlement. He has the fogs. And that uh, might keep him alive long enough. So I, and I need to invest one more enchantment into this bogle. Because I need to I need one strike to be lethal. <laughs> Once again, I forget about the moments, pieces, and the fog effects. But of course, they are a very, very important part of the deck. So, Tau and Anok, please let me know in the comments to this uh, video how, what your bad matchups are, or what your good matchups are, and what you think about the future of Freed from the Real. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm just pushing onwards, hitting as hard as I can, because that's the only thing I know how to do. We now have a 1917 double lifelink Slippery Bogle, and he's coming over for tea. Oh no! It's a moment piece, and there are two moment pieces in the graveyard, so it will take some time before we can get through. We don't have anything against moment piece. And uh, we probably need a blocker for the leaf caller. <laughs> and now. So he has bought himself all the time he needs to go off, I hope. It would be awesome if the slip if the uh, free from the real deck won this match. I'll take the time to do take some notes. Uh, I'm being attacked. Um, I don't think I need to invest more into this creature, but rather just attack to force the pieces. Uh, I, there might be a use for rankling up something else. 
so I'm done there. And it's the 16th of February. I'm keeping notes. I'm currently 17 to 13 against uh, with uh, the hexproof deck, which is quite a bad record actually. One of my worst with any deck. I like to have a 75% win percentage in 75% win percentage. Yeah, in uh, the practice room with the deck, and this is pretty far from it. 17, thir 17 to 13. That's only 56.7 win percentage. Of course, a hexproof deck is very unreliable. So he is out of moments pieces in his graveyard. But he now has more power to block with, so I can't kill him with one blow unless I cast Rancor here, which I will. What's happening now? He's tapping out. No, he has the Overgrown Battlement. And he has freed from the reel. I'm gonna play the Hunt Beast to prevent him from curfewing, though he surely doesn't have curfew. And I'm gonna strike if he has the last fog now. Even Freed from Drill doesn't do much for him right now because there's nothing to free, right? Oh, he can. Yeah, he can. With the leaf caller and the overgrown battlement, he can do it anyway. So, but he still needs a kill spell. And he's under a bit of pressure for my 25 21 guy. Who just got bigger. And bigger. I now have a 29-23 double lifelink guy. And he is attacking. And the graveyard is now empty of moments pieces and he has one card in hand. Will he succeed in going off or not? That card is probably quite important. I'm not sure he brought in any other. Oh, there was another uh, fog effect. Oh, very nice. And he is now, he has the wall, he has the freed from the reel. He say he made one misplay. But he has defeated me. He has defeated Hexproof deck with free from the reel. He says that he played the Thermorphic Expanse after he got the Onus Grace. So he could have um, he could have drawn another card, which would probably have made him go off one turn earlier. Well, uh, thank you for watching Magic Gathering Strat doing something different. Uh, we played Tau and Anork, both of them had freed from the real decks. Guys, post your deck lists in the comments. And uh, watcher, uh, viewer, thank you for watching Magic Gathering Strat playing Hexproof against Freed from the Real.